As I researched Flipgrid accessibility features, I found that it is very accessible for the students, for them to use. Um, some examples of representation in Flipgrid include videos, visuals, text-to-speech, and text within the video, adding text to the videos. So this is just different ways that the students can approach Flipgrid while uh, making their responses to the prompts that I give them. Like they can use visuals, they can input photos, they can, um, you can write text boxes like on the video. And of course they can make videos of themselves demonstrating or talking about something. Examples of expression in Flipgrid include making a video much easier um, for some students, say, with dyslexia, they can't, they don't, it's harder for them to write and read, so it makes it easier for them to write, or for them to make a video instead of write, and also watch other people's videos instead of having to read them. It can help deaf and hard of hearing students because they can read if they choose on the closed captioning, that is an option. Um, they can have writing in the videos, so those students can, um, they can read the video. Um, they can take their video in any direction they want to. They can demonstrate or talk about their answers, so the students have kind of free will of where they want to take their topic if they are responding to the prompt. Examples of engagement include making videos it can be fun for kids. It can be something different instead of just the monotonous of um, writing a worksheet or writing a writing a reflection or something like that and it can have them demonstrate what they've learned so they can actually show instead of just talking they could also talk that could be an option but they can also demonstrate what they have learned